Wolliver, and today is Mrs. Wolliver Day. Are you ready for a story? Today's story is called The Adventures of Holly the Hippo in The Great Escape, written and illustrated by Mrs. Wolliver. This story features a character named Freddy, and this is Freddy. He's a friend of mine, a very close family friend, and actually, if you recognize the, the woman next to him, that's his wife, and his, her name is Shari. And if you remember Shari from the Patty and Louie series. Back to the story. The last time we left Holly the Hippo, she was locked in the zoo with her mom and dad. Holly wants it to be like it used to be. She wants to go back to her own room in the cave in the jungle. But she had one problem. How was Holly going to escape her cage in the zoo? One day, Holly was playing jacks by herself when she heard a voice. I will help you escape, said the little voice. Who are you and where are you? wondered Holly. Here I am down here. It's me, Freddy. Holly looked down at the sidewalk in front of her cage. Oh, hi, Freddy, said Holly. Freddy was a little frog friend of Holly's. How are you going to help me? She asked. It won't be easy, Holly, Freddy said, but I have an idea. Freddy's idea was very complicated. Holly was confused, but Holly agreed to do whatever she could to help her and her family escape and go home. The plan would be carried out tonight at dinner time. Holly's watch read dinner time. She got a stomach ache just thinking about the excitement. Her mom and dad were standing by, ready for the great escape. Now Ziggy the zookeeper made his way to Holly's cage with a wheelbarrow full of food for their dinner. Freddy was hiding by a bush near Holly's cage. Ziggy opened up the cage door. Then Freddy jumped up and pushed Ziggy as hard as he could. Ziggy fell into Holly's cage, and Holly and her family ran out. Freddy kicked the door closed and locked Ziggy in. Mom, Dad, and Holly stood outside the cage and stared at Ziggy. We're sorry, whispered Holly. Please don't be mad at us. We hope you understand. Holly and her family thanked Freddy for his help and turned to go home. Gee, Holly, sighed Freddy. I thought you were going to invite me. Do you really want to come? asked Holly. Well, Freddy swallowed down a whimper. You are my friend. And I don't have a mom and dad. And I don't have any brothers and sisters. And I don't like it here. And... I've always dreamed of living in the jungle, and okay, 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 said Holly. You can come. So Freddie jumped up on Holly's back and gave a cheer. Hooray! When they got to the front gate of the zoo, Holly started to laugh. Here, let me do it, she said. I'm good at this. So Holly bumped the gate down with a boom and they all started back home, even Freddy. Wow, how exciting to have a friend like that to help you when you're down and out. It's really good to have good friends like that and it's good to be a good friend like that, okay? So they escaped, now they're on their way home. Let's draw. Are you ready to draw? We're going to draw in the apple direction, the apple direction, the apple direction. We'll put our paper in the apple direction and we'll be ready to draw with you. With who? With you. Oh, so wonderful that you're going to be drawing with me. Okay, well that was a really funny story. Loved it. Loved it. We're going to learn how to draw Freddy the Frog. 
And we're, we're going to put them down here. We're going to put Holly in her cage up there. Okay? So what do you say we get started? Now, Freddie starts with an oval like this. That's his top oval. He has two of them. Top one and a bottom one. We're going to put another one down here just like that. Okay. Now on his top oval, he has a big Mrs. Wolver smile. There you go. And on his bottom oval, he wears a tie. So we're going to give him a square there. We're going to go up, down, in. We've made these a couple times. There you go, the tie. Now let's work on the top. We're going to give him his eyes right in the middle. Okay, right in the middle. You might want to just do that. You're going to come up and you're going to go like this to that side right there. Making a door, a doorway. And another side from there. There you go. Good job. We're going to put windows inside. Okay. And we're going to put the whites of his eyes like this. And the pupils will be looking over at Holly in her cage. There you go. Okay. His body comes down on this side to that side. Now we're going to make his arms. You're going to make kind of a C shape like that. Like we did with Amy's tail. We made a C. But then we're going to give him three fingers. Okay. We're going to come down over here on backwards C and give him three fingers. Okay. Good. Down on his feet, we're going to give him kind of you know, just rainbow shapes like that. Two legs and then three toes on each leg. Three toes. There you go. And the t-shirt he's wearing, we're going to come down like this. And we're going to give him two buttons. Just like in the story. Okay. And there's Freddy. And now we're going to put Holly up here in her cage. Alright. Remember, we're going to start with that top puzzle piece. Think of it in three pieces. Okay. We're going to go like this make the top of a heart and then come back around like that. Just do the best you can. She has her ears on top. Her eyes. Whites of her eyes. And her pupils are going to be looking down at Freddy. Four eyelashes on each eye. And there's the top puzzle piece. Okay. Second puzzle piece is her nose. We're going to come down. Two bumps like that. Her large nostrils. Okay, second puzzle piece done. Now the third one is her mouth. I'm gonna come down, not too far down, not too far. Okay, like this. She has a tooth here, a tooth here, 
long two or longer on the bottom split down the middle okay all right now our body's coming out of her top puzzle piece the top one is going to come down just under the mouth around and in there there you go she's going to be in her cage like her mom was last time I'm going to come down with her feet toenails there we go let's give her a lowercase e for a belly button not Freddy we're not doing him just her give her her hands right next to her okay good three fingernails three bumps on her hands three bumps like that and let's put her tail over here on this side there it is over there okay all right now just like last time last lesson we're going to put a square box around her now actually I think I can actually get the complete square around her like this I had to go off the page with mom last lesson there you go all right there you go now before we put the bars on let's go ahead and do this let's box the cage <clears throat> excuse me let's I've got a Freddy the Frog in my throat okay here we go we're gonna put an oblique line right here and an oblique line from this corner all the way up it may be off the page mine went off the page okay mm. but then we're going to bring it oh these pits are drying out then we're going to bring it all the way over with a horizontal line so the top is boxed in okay and since I went all the way up here and it's off the page, I'm going to go ahead and come over here and do an oblique line off the page. Off the page. Okay? So it's a box. All right, now we have to box it in inside. We're going to make an oblique line up like this. maybe a little bit higher about right there and then we're going to make a horizontal line into holly behind holly and into the side right here of the cage see how that's the floor now i'm sure their cages are bigger you know but this is just for drawing we can't draw a huge cage and then from this line from this corner you're going to make a vertical line, vertical up behind her hand and up to the top of the box here, not all the way up here, but just to here. And that's, she's boxed in. Okay. Now, just like last lesson, we're going to put some bars in front of her. I'm going to put two. If I have to make them a little thicker, that's fine, but we're just going to put two. So, just like last lesson, if you want to get your black crayon or a black Sharpie or pen, you can pause the video, have your teacher pass those things out, and come back, okay? And if you're at home, you can pause the video as well and get your pen and come back. And let's draw the cage, the bars. Now, like last lesson, you're going to draw them all the way through holly from here to the bottom and then a little bit leave a little bit of room here to the bottom and then inside you're going to color 
your bar in very carefully. I'm going to try not to scribble scrabble this time. Last lesson I kind of did some scribble scrabbling. I didn't mean to, but I just got carried away and sometimes we do that, right? Absolutely, but that's okay. All right, and then now from the top, up on the top. All right, great. Okay, there's my first bar. There's my first bar. Now I'm going to come over here because she's not getting through that. I'm going to come over here and make another one. I'm going to come down here like this to the bottom, from this top to this bottom. Make it, try to make it as big as I did the other one, all the way down. And then I'm coloring it in solid black. Please take your time. When you scribble scrabble, it just looks messy. That's all it does. We don't want it to look messy. You're doing a great job drawing. And you want it to look awesome. Okay. No scribble scrabbling. Ooh, I did better this this lesson. Bing! That's the wall bar. Woohoo! Okay. There she is. She's in her cage and she's not going anywhere. Okay, so now we're good. before we put our horizon line or anything in, we're going to put our hippo sign, if you remember from last time. We're going to put H, capital H, capital I, capital P, capital P, capital O, hippo. Okay, she's living there so long. Maybe we ought to put Holly. <laughs> Holly Hippo. No, it's okay. We'll just put Hippo. Okay, now we want to come like this. Up, over the Hippo sign, beside the Hippo sign, a little bit down a little bit. Okay, a little farther than the letters because we're going to be coming in. Okay, so now we come in halfway. We come in halfway like that. That's a big sign. Then we come down on both sides together on the bottom. And then we're going to make our jungle grass around it like it's sticking out of the jungle grass, right? I'll be green. Okay, now we're going to make a horizon line that's going to be kind of special. Okay, you need to be paying attention and you need to be following directions because I kind of change it up on you a little bit here. All right, and uh, your teacher or your parents or whoever, they're going to know if you did it different than I did, you need to be following directions and paying attention. Now, from here, from Holly's cage, you're going to come out with a horizon line, go over Freddie's head, but then the last second you're going to come down a mountain or a hill. It's not a mountain. Come down a hill and then into this side of your paper. Okay? And this will be all green. It's just grass. Uh, when you, well, we'll talk about coloring later. Okay? Let's make our jungle sun right here. Okay, and I bet you know how many clouds to put in the sky by now, don't you? Two. All right, good. All right, let's put down your pencils. Look down at your paper and say, wow, I did a great job. Tell your neighbors or tell me, wow. You did a great job, too. <clears throat> Are we having fun now? Yes, we're having fun now. We're having a very nice day. Are we having fun now? Yes, we're having fun now. Having a nice Mrs. Wooliver day. Learning to draw the Mrs. Wooliver way. Okay, now when you choose colors, you're going to start with Freddie first, then Holly, and then the background, okay? But Freddie is one shade of green, 
and the grass is going to be a different shade of green. You don't want the same shades, the same exact colors on both. You want them, the Freddy to be maybe a light green and the jungle grass to be dark green or what have you. Okay? So do a great job and until next time, keep drawing.